Hi. Oh, <laughs> you are there. So, good evening. I will talk today about something that is a bit uh, maybe weird for some of you. And uh, it is also because I am working since uh, 25 years in the space sector. So, at the end of the day, now we are uh, at the beginning of a new era, you know. For 25 years, space was basically grabbed by a national agency. It was also uh, a question of defense. But in the last few years, everybody knows about SpaceX and uh, Elon Musk and Blue Origin and Virgin Galactic and so on and so forth. There are some sort of uh, uh, small window of opportunities that are maybe opening up. And uh, we also had a different hype that it looks that uh, uh, we can go to the space, we can uh, just have our holidays, vacations, and so on. And because I always did in my life serious stuff like experimenting about uh, uh, you know, the thermomechanical properties of materials or uh, shielding, heat shielding, radiation and so on. You know, at uh, one moment in life you want also to have fun, so we started to try to see but uh, 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 what is about uh, doing really tourism in space. And then, of course, it's, uh, when I say it, it's a bit uh, weird to, sp to start with space tourism, Actually, as you know, today we had the launching of Artemis and so on. So we'll go back to the moon, maybe in the future we'll go to Mars, uh, and so on and so forth. And so uh, we are, uh, you have heard for sure the creation of outpost on the moon. So why starting with the tourism? Actually, there is also a reason, because, uh, uh, you know, when uh, you go for things that do not exist, you do some assumption. Maybe that will become true, maybe not. And so our assumption is that uh, at the end of the day, in the future, our, uh, the humanity, so our self, will expand outside of the Earth and uh, uh, what uh, will define really the presence of humanity will not be only a uh, military grade or isolated outpost somewhere in the universe, although it's very fascinating, at least in science fiction movies, but it will be where we'll begin to live outside our planet. But to live uh, means basically that we will bring not us in a different planet, but we will bring our human life. So the assumption that uh, we are doing, uh, not only my company, but uh, many others, we discussed with Mardis a <laughs> few minutes ago, is that uh, at the end of the day, if there will be some sort of human presence outside our Earth, it will not be some sort of a weird uh, uh, colonization of anything. It's simply that we want to be ourselves in a different environment. And uh, this is what we are uh, talking about. So, see we have this kind of uh, uh, suits, and so we, th we, 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 we begin to, uh, to think, is this, is this what we are looking for? You know, even uh, the first images of the Blue Origin people floating or the International Space Station, but actually, these images are really defining what we are as mankind. So imagine that you want to go for a holidays, and imagine that you don't know which is the place where you go, what you are expecting from going to holidays, to a vacation. You are expecting that you will get to a place where you can relax, where you can find, you know, in some way, uh, some luxury or uh, some sort of fascinating. So you are expecting to have better life respect where you have, what you have your, uh, during your, your lifetime, but still your life. Life, for example, that where you can drink something you can have with your uh, uh, lover or with your friends, a bit of fun. And now, 
Imagine in space. You know, I don't know if there are fans of Star Trek, Star Wars, or any other uh, space science fiction. Hmm? What we have seen, have you really seen a lot of people floating around? Or when you project yourself in space, you see people that are still working on the Millennium Falcon, just uh, walking around, take a beer, playing chess, and so on and so forth. So this is the basic assumption that we are doing. So that uh, the space tourism needs to recreate an, an ecosystem that is the human ecosystem, but in a completely different environment. And this is the connection that we are finding now with uh, the material studies, that we are uh, in touch with a lot of communities, because you have to create what? Not only suits, but imagine that you want to get out on the moon with a girl, a man that you want to attract. Possibly you don't want to go with a suit that is black, white, like, sorry to say, North Korean style. You will have your own, you know, personality that will be transmitted through the suits. And basically, you would need appliances, you would need the glasses, you need everything. And you need that this will be lightweight. So you need uh, even sensor because you will need possibly health care. You can uh, get a bit drunk even in space and maybe you need some pills. So basically you need all of this. And we live where? We live in a world that is uh, connected to the limit. So you want also to share your experience. You possibly you want to share your avatar to share with your friends what you are doing on the moon, on Mars, or simply on a space station. So this is what we are working uh, together with uh, many friends. For us, space, and for me that uh, I'm doing this for 30 years, is not something that will cancel humanity, but is simply an expansion of us in a different uh, environment. And why not? By searching for solutions to get fun, to share new materials, healthcare in space, it's a completely different uh, matter. Why not? Maybe we will find also solution, we'll find also possibility to increase the quality of life on ground. And so we will do a mega technology transfers that will be pushed but why our need to be men, women, mankind, everywhere we are in the galaxy. 11 seconds <laughs> left. Thank you so much.